I'm telling you, I am bad at life, and it starts with this hair. Oh. Hey, Elizabeth here. I am going to rant to you today about writing advice that people love to give. More specifically, bad writing advice. I have heard this advice for years. These tips and tricks are now embedded in my brain cells and they just live there and it is so hard to come out from it. There are all types of writing advice given to me at the beginning of my writing career. Um, from well-meaning teachers and friends to craft books. I've read so many craft books over the years. People just spewed forth writing advice from an unending well. So now looking back, I have realized that most of it is bad advice and that's really hindered me in my writing career. I have sacrificed success on the back of this advice. So today, I am going to share with you five pieces of writing advice that was given to me that totally fucked me up. And I'm telling you this so it doesn't happen to you. Okay, bad tip number one, you have to be a master of the English language and have impeccable grammar to be a successful author. Uh, no, you don't. Okay, that's what editors are for. You have to tell a good story in order to be a successful author. And I'm sorry, telling a good story does not mean you have to be an English teacher. It does not mean you have to be a copy editor. I, copy editors are great and a lot of, um, so are English teachers, by the way, um, and a lot of writers would make really good English teachers and really good copy editors. But that comes with time and reading over your own work, editing your own work before somebody else reads it. So based on this bad advice, I spent so much time checking my grammar over and over again that I didn't worry about how I actually told the story. So just backwards, backwards, backwards. Not good, right? So just don't listen to this advice, please. As long as your work is readable and you have some sort of grasp of the English language in general, you'll be fine. You don't have to obsess over grammar. Let an editor do that, okay? Just tell your story. Bad tip number two, successful authors only write when they're inspired. The fuck they do, okay? The majority of successful authors adhere to a strict writing schedule, and I do mean strict. Take Stephen King, for example. He has a daily quota of 2,000 words. And he hits that quota, whether he's inspired or not. And the result of that is he makes money off of his writing. He's one of the most prolific writers in horror. So set a schedule, put yourself on one. If you don't, the TV will win over getting words on the page any day. At least it does for me. <laughs> um, it's great to be inspired, but waiting for it before you start the actual writing bit is the death of any writing career. And I should know. Bad tip number three. Speaking of waiting for inspiration, believe in yourself. No, don't listen to people who tell you to believe in yourself. I mean, all right, all right. Listen to these people to a point, but don't let the believe yourself advice settle you into an action. This is kind of like the inspiration thing. Um, don't wait to write until you believe in yourself. You're always going to go through periods of thinking you're not good enough or that your work is terrible. I made an entire video on this. It's called imposter syndrome. Check it out if you haven't seen it by the way. Um, and all writers go through it and it's normal. You have to work through that and the only way to do that is to just keep writing. Bad tip number four, read as much as you can in your genre. Do not read as much as you can in your genre. Well, let me clarify. Hang on. Let me clarify. Uh, don't read in your genre until after you've written that first draft. This is essential for nonfiction, but it's also good for fiction writers too. 
here's the thing. If you read as much as you can in your genre before you've written your first draft, your writing may be colored by all that you've been reading. For example, um, like for nonfiction, you may have trouble coming up with a fresh perspective. Or for fiction, your writing style may start to mimic uh, another author's just because you're reading that author so much. So get your voice on the page, get your perspective on the page. Write first, read later. It'll make that next draft that you write that much better. And our last tip, number five, bad tip number five, the worst. Start a blog, share your process. A lot of well-meaning people give this advice like you have to start a blog, you have to share your process or even um, snippets of your work in order to be successful. <clears throat> That's just not true. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat today. It's been happening all morning. Sorry. Back to it. Um, this just isn't true. You don't have to start a blog. You, you don't have to write shit but your book. Okay? Stephen King doesn't have a blog. I know I keep going back to Stephen King, but I like Stephen King. <laughs> um, if you want to start a blog, or in these days, I guess, a vlog, like I'm trying to do. Um, great, do it. Have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it and don't feel like you have to. Allow a blog or a vlog to be something that's fun for you to do that'll help build your author platform. Not something that you feel like you have to do in order to get anywhere in your writing. Because to be honest, you can sell books, you can be a successful author without having a blog or a vlog. All right, this is supposed to be fun, guys. Writing is supposed to be fun. Blogging or vlogging is supposed to be fun. Let it be fun. So, all right, that's it. This video is long enough. That was five pieces of bad advice that people love to give to writers and that I've heard years, for years and years and years. Um, don't fall for it, guys, please. Take it all with a grain of salt. Focus on that book or that short story or that instruction manual, whatever you're writing. Write how you want to write it. It's a piece of you and make sure you're proud of it. Okay? If you have not liked and subscribed, do that down below and I will leave resources in the description for actually good writing advice that I've come across over the years. And maybe I'll make a video on the good writing advice that I've heard too. So I'll see you later guys. Bye!